The jumping off point for getting started with Alexa development is the Alexa developer portal, and it's located at developer.amazon.com slash Alexa. To get started, you'll want to spend some time browsing through the public content there. And what you'll quickly learn is that Alexa is way more than just the brand and the brains behind the Amazon Echo. Alexa is also a service from Amazon that makes it possible for anybody to extend Alexa's capabilities or incorporate Alexa into smart devices. For developers, the Alexa service provides the Alexa skills kit and the Alexa voice service. The skills kit lets you add new capabilities to make Alexa smarter, and these are called skills. So if Alexa doesn't do something now that you'd like her to do, you can teach her how by creating a new skill. The Alexa voice service, on the other hand, is used for adding Alexa to new devices or software. So for example, if you wanted to create an Alexa-enabled toaster, you'd use the Alexa voice service to do that. Our topic is building skills, so we're going to talk more about the Alexa skills kit. The Skills Kit is a collection of resources to make it easy for developers to create skills for Alexa. And the Skills Kit includes documentation, software development kits, application programming interfaces, and example code. We'll be taking a look at all of these in more detail. Using the Skills Kit is free. In fact, in most cases, you won't need to pay to publish, build, or host your skills. And nothing that we're going to be doing in this course should cost you anything. At a high level, there are two things that you need to do to create skills. You need to create a voice user interface for users to interact with your skill, and you need to build a skill service that provides your skills functionality. The first part is done through the Alexa developer portal and doesn't require any coding, but it does require an understanding of how Alexa works from a technical perspective, and we'll be covering that. Building a skill service is a bit more technical and does require some coding. However, even if you've never coded anything before in your life, you can build a basic skill service using Amazon Web Services fairly easily. We'll talk more about building skill services in a minute, but first let's take a closer look at the skill setup. Skill configuration settings and what's referred to as an interaction model tell the Amazon Alexa service about your skill. And this lets the Alexa service know how to recognize when users are requesting your skill and the functionality that it provides. New skills are set up through the Alexa developer portal at developer.amazon.com. And when you set up a new skill, you define how users enable and interact with it and how the Alexa service will communicate with your skill service to provide your skills functionality. The developer portal is also where you would submit your skill to be published in the skill store. And we'll talk more about the publishing process later on. Your skill service provides your skills functionality, and this is code that you'll write to take action on and to respond to user requests. Amazon doesn't care how you create your skill service. You can use any programming language and technology stack as long as it can properly communicate with the Alexa service. That said, the easiest way and the recommended way to build a skill service is by using Amazon Web Services or AWS, and that's what we'll be doing. So to wrap up, let me summarize how Alexa works with a custom skill. So first, a user speaks to an Echo or an Alexa-enabled device, and the audio is streamed from the device to the Amazon Alexa service. Next, the Alexa service converts the voice stream to text and determines if the request is for a skill by looking at skill configuration information that the developer sets up in the Alexa developer console. If the request is for a skill, the Alexa service sends the request to a skill service that the developer created to provide the skills functionality. The skill service takes action on the request and generates a response that is sent back to the Alexa skill service through the Alexa skills kit API. From there, the Alexa service responds back to the user. Okay, so that's it for our high level technical overview. In the next video, we're gonna jump right in and create our first skill.